I once thought this cosmic stage was opened up with a beam of light, to which many of light's minions, foolish, foolish minions of all, too often claim to be the divine center of this verse. But now I know that just behind that thin photonic shell disguised as a master of ceremonies more alive in starless breath and sound consuming every ghost and shadow that attempts to leave without leaving everything at the altar of its infinite appetite. And by this, I have no story to tell of the moment I became one with the universe. This cosmic monopoly to which I feel not see the superb mastery that conducts my entire disintegration. My vision fails upon its doorstep. My tongue can craft only foul ambrosia and absurdity, and I am left to dog and scramble for whatever semblances of tangibility may have been scattered to the edge where I am now holding pale and crude judgment upon whatever is left of this thing called sanity. There is no spotlight that I don't already know precisely where it comes from. And this is why I know that Prima Movums is not light. That is not love residing at the center of this highly calculated prism. And I know this because when I got there, it was empty and alone. And maybe, maybe that is love in the light that surrounds that grand and infinite expanse of folding oblivion, but if only to protect the outside from all the innards. That immense and slowly breathing dark and densely cold oblivion. Those pitch and blackened innards sprawled and bleeding into all the dreaming it is creating just to stay asleep. For if it wakes and finds these wandering eyes and minds trespassing within and defining its veils of space and time, or penetrating the perfect white bedsheets of its prison, then, then it would surely scream into the means to which it would end all these ivory tower attempts to steal its infinite peace that it created once upon a moment it never wanted. So, don't think those angels standing guard at the edges and corners have anything to do with protecting you. No. The light, it is bright and for a very different reason than you might think. Because it blinds. It blinds you and keeps you right where it wants you. Not in the dark where you might learn the secret of imagination. Not in the dark where you might find the true source of design and fabrication. No, no, no. In the light is exactly where the likes of most of you will surely stay, bound and hovering around the latest love story of the day, like young moths to a flame batting wings and playing games with the pitch and angle of all those high frequencies and vibrations. Oh, you silly, silly little children of the light. Oh, you nubile, crawling insecurities conjuring protections for all your materialities dabbling in white ascensions and desperate alien nations, squabbling over who gets what and where in outer space. This infinite place where when you're truly ready to use those wings and make an honorable mess, you'll bind those guardian angels and let the real teachers loose in the garden of delight and lightlessness. See you soon. Silly little children of the light.